Hi, right, it's Bill Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're looking at Kenmore 70 series. Has the typical agitator on it. And if we notice the agitator action, we see that it spins clockwise and it also spins counterclockwise quite freely. And this indicates to me that the agitator dogs are shot on this. Yeah, we see that the agitators dogs inside here are falling apart. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put some new agitator dogs on. They sort of look like this. And we'll show you the difference. You notice it's, it spins this way and it's not supposed to spin this way. It's only spin, it's supposed to spin this way. Okay, so we have the new parts in and we see that the agitator action is a little bit different here. So we see that it does not turn that way now. This is the way the agitator should be. It will turn clockwise, but not counterclockwise. Uh, this is what I call the ratcheting agitator. And when it ratchets, it helps to spin the clothes around in the barrel this way. So this puppy's fixed. And we're good to go. Now we have some rust here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this cowl off and I'm going to do some rust treatment with a good old fashioned wire brush, some Osfo, and some spray paint. So the front console basically is held on by these clips here. There's two Phillips screws in the front. And here's a little disclaimer for you. There's two Phillips screws in the front that hold the front console in place uh, once you've taken these clips off. And they just clip in there like that. And when you take them off, you just stick a screwdriver in here and pry back like that. Yeah, we can see we have quite a bit of rust here. And so, luckily it hasn't gone all the way through yet. But if I scrape this off, clean this surface stuff off, and then treat it with Osfo, and then spray paint over it, it will last quite a bit longer. And so to take this cowl off, basically you need to take the front console loose. Two Phillips screws hold the front console, and then there's clips on each side. And then you can take this console off. Yeah, so that goes. Okay, so we've got it treated and we've got it painted. So it's not as good as new, of course, but it's going to add a little bit of life to the machine. So first we neutralize the rust and then we paint over the rust. And remember, remember, remember to plug the lid switch back in or it won't spin. It will stop in the rinse cycle and it will not spin if you leave that unplugged. So remember to plug that in. And so now, put the other one in. So you have to make sure it's lined up in the back. This one slipped right in, so I know it's lined up. But you have to make sure it's lined up, and then make sure this little rubber tube does not get pinched in between here. If this rubber tube, uh, by some chance, gets pinched in between here, it's not very likely, you see, because it has a keeper here, but sometimes these keepers will come loose. And if this tube gets stuck in between 
the body in the back and pinches that tube, then the machine will overflow and you have an overflowing situation. And so anyway, basically we're going to put it back together now. Make sure we have the sw lid switch in and the tube is not pinched or none of the wires are pinched. Pull the console back over. Put the Phillips screws back in. On there. And on there. And then these, these fenders, they just kind of clip on. They just kind of they just push in place, pull off, and push in place, basically. If you grab this from the top outside, it you will usually pull off fairly easily. So if this video helped you, please send me a donation. It's Bills Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. And if you need any help, you can call me, 707-445-1591. Or send me an email, Z underscore fixitman at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.